Hi everyone, let's start with our homework helper for lesson 23. This is on page 97 in your succeed book. Um, what we're going to, what we're doing in this lesson is decomposing to subtract from um, a three digit number. So if the number you are taking away is a 10 without any ones, it is super easy to subtract that from 100 because 100 is 10 tenths. So you have eight tens taken from 10 tens. So if you decompose 115 into 15 and 100, super easy to, decom to subtract 100 minus 80, and then you just add 15 back in. So that's what we're working on. You'll notice that all of the problems, word problems or just equations, all of them, that uh, second number that you are subtracting is always going to be uh, 10 with no ones. That's the easiest way. Okay? So turning to page 99, we're going to get started. And um, they've started the first one for you. These first ones, these first um, equations or expressions, actually, because they don't have the equal sign. There's no word problem. All we're going to do is get that number bond so that we can subtract for 100. The first problem is 105 minus 90. So 105, that's almost. So we just need to take out a 5, right? Five ones. So we have 100 minus 90 or 10 tens minus 9 tens. 10 minus 9 is one. So 100 minus 90 is 110 or 10. Then we just have to add that 5 back in. 10 plus 5 equals 15. And 105 minus 90 equals 15. We're going to use this same process to do the other problems on this page. 121 minus 90. Again, we want to get this to 100. So we are going to decompose 100, and then what's left? 21. So we're going to start with 100 minus 90. Again, 100 is 10 tens minus 9 tens. 10 tens take away 9 tens is 110 or 10. Then we just need to add 21 back in. So we have 10 plus 21. 1 10 and 2 tens is 3 tens. 0 plus 1 is 1. 121 minus 90 equals 31. Same thing here. We have 112 minus 80. So we are going to decompose our 100. We want to take out 100 because then it's super easy to subtract 10 tens. So if I am decomposing 112, I'm taking 100. What is left? If I have 100, 110, and two ones. I've taken out the 100. I have 12 or 10 and two left. So we're going to subtract from 100. 100 minus 80. 10 tens minus 8 tens. 2 tens or 20. Is that the answer? Am I finished? No, we were just subtracting from 100. Now we need to put that 12 back in because we were subtracting from 112. So we're going to have 20 plus 12. 2 tens plus 1 ten. 0 plus 2. 112 minus 80 is 32. 
So how would you do this one? 135 minus 70. What do we want to get? We want 100. I'm going to take 100 out of 135. What do I have left? I'm breaking it into 100. What's the other part? 35. 100 minus 70. That is a much simpler problem. 10 tens minus 7 tens is 10 minus 7 is 3 tens or 30. Next step, I'm going to add 30 plus the other part, 35. 30 plus 35, I have 3 tens and 3 tens, which is 6 tens. I have 0 and 5, which is 5. 135 minus 70, 65. On these next two, I'm going to ask you to pause the video each time. So 136 minus 60, I want you to pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then press play and check to see if your work is the same as mine. Remember, we always want to get out that 100 because it is so much easier to work with. So if I'm breaking up 136, I have 100 and my other part is 36. I am subtracting 60 from the 100 part. 100 minus 60 or 10 tens minus 6 tens equals 4 tenths, or 40. I have to add back in the other part. So I have 40 minus, I'm sorry, plus, ah, I hope you didn't make that mistake, 40 plus 36. So we have 6 ones and 7 tens, 136 minus 60 is 76. If you did not do the same thing that I did, see if you can figure out where you made your mistake. Remember, we're trying to get 100 out. 36 is what is left. We subtract from the 100 part, and then we add the other part to that answer because we need to subtract from the whole. And when we have 100 minus 60, we're just subtracting from this part. We have to add the other part back in to get the answer. So same thing here, go ahead and pause, work it on your own, and then push play and see if our answers are the same. We want to take out 100, so we have 29 left, we're going to subtract 100 minus 50, 10 tens minus 5 tens is 5 tens or 50. And then don't forget, we have to add that other part back in. 50 plus 29, 9 and 0 is 9, 5 and 2 is 7. 129 minus 50 is 79. And again, I'm less worried about whether or not your answer is exactly right than if you can see where you made a mistake. If you made a mistake, you might have done it perfectly. But if you made a mistake, super important, go back and fix it. Find out what part you forgot or what part you did wrong. That's what mistakes are for, so that we learn. All right? We have one more page to do. Page 100. There are a couple more just like what we've been doing. 156 minus 80. 
We're going to split that up, take out our 100, and we have 56 left. We're going to subtract from the 100 part. 10 tens minus 8 tens is 2 tens or 20. Then we have to add the other part back in. 20 plus 56. 6 and 0 is 6. 5 and 2 is 7. Same thing here. We have 138 and we want to take 40 away. It's kind of a difficult subtraction problem. But it's super easy to take 40 from 100. So we're going to break this into two parts. I had 138. I'm going to take 38 and put them, leave them over here for now. And I'm just going to take the 40 away from the 100. Just going to leave that 38 over there. So now I'm going to take out the 40 from the 100 that I have. 10 tens minus 4 tens. 10 minus 4 is 6 tens or 60. So I've taken away my 40, which is what I needed to do, and I have 60 left. But don't forget, you had those 38 back here that you took away so that it'd be easier. Now we have to put those parts back together. So 60 plus 38, 0 and 8 is 8, 6 plus 3 is 9. 138 minus 40 is 98. Okay, here's my favorite kind. They're showing a student's mistake. So we have to find the way to find what mistake she made and how to do it correctly. So I'm looking at, it looks like she started correctly. 132, she decomposed 132. That's correct. Then she said 100 minus 30 equals 70. What are we supposed to take away from the hole there? What are we taking away? We broke it into 132, but we need to take away 70. That's where she made her mistake. 100 minus 70 equals 10 tens minus 7 tens is 3 tens or 30. So then it's not 70 that you're adding to 32, it's 30. We're going to take that 30 and add back in that other part. So we have 0 and 2 is 2, 3 and 3 is Six. 132 minus 70 equals 62. Not 102. That's a pretty big difference. The way to check your work when you're subtracting is to add the two parts together. So we took 70 away from 132 and got 62. If we added these two parts back together, we should get 132. So 0 and 2 is 2. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 tens or 130 and 2 ones. So when you add your parts back together, you should get the whole. If you added 102 to 70, you'd get 172. Always a good idea to check your work. All right. Last, we have a word problem. Billy sold 50 fewer magazines than Alex. Fewer. Less. Less, taking away, not as many. Billy sold less. How many less? 50. Less than Alex. Alex sold 128 magazines. How many magazines did Billy sell? So here's Billy. We don't know. Here's Alex. Alex, we do know. Alex sold 128. 
We don't know what this is. We know what this is. Because they said that 128 is 50 more than what Billy sold. Or Billy sold 50 less than what Alex sold. So we have the whole and one part. If you have one part, you need to subtract to get the other part. So 128 minus 50, that's going to tell us how much Billy had. 128 is not friendly, but 50 is. So let's get this to be 100 and the other part is 28. Break it up. Subtract 100 minus 50. 10 tens minus 5 tens is... All comes back to those number bonds for 10. The friendly numbers, the, the pairs that make 10. So important to learn. So 10 minus 5 is 5 tens or 50. Now we have to add in that part we took out to make it easy for ourselves. So we have 50 plus 28. 0 and 8 is 8. 5 and 2 is 7. 128 minus 50 is 78. That's this part. That's the other part. 78 is 50 fewer than 128. So that's where we need to write our response. Billy sold how much? 78 magazines. Good work, everybody. These strategies that just show you quick little ways to do math are going to make it so much easier for you down the road. When we can manipulate our numbers by taking them apart, putting them together, moving them around to make it easy for us. Some of this math you can just do in your head. Thanks for working hard. I'll see you next time.